In this video, we're going to show you how to upload or manually create a zone list. A zone list can be used for a number of different reasons, but for this purpose, we're going to set up some pricing zones. There's two ways to access the zones. If you don't have the finance module enabled, you can go via the settings and under the list and zones, you'll see the zone listing directory. If you do have the finance module enabled, under the finance menu, you'll see your zone listing directory under your rate cards because the zones and the rates are linked fairly closely together. You'll already have preset up a few zones. We want to create a new zone list by clicking on the blue new zone listing button. You can name your zone list anything you want. We're going to call it our 2020 pricing zones. You can create as many of these zones as required. I'm going to select my new zone list that I've created and on the right hand side we've got some additional information including the edit zone suburbs button. If we click on that this allows us to go in and create or define this zone list. So to create a new zone we click on the blue button and then we create our new zones. You can add a full zone name, short zone names. All that's required is the zone names. The other fields are optional. Click Save to save the zone. Now we've got this zone saved. We do need to define it though. There are a few ways we can define where a zone encompasses. One is via postcodes. One is via suburbs. And the third is by drawing a shape on the map. You can use a combination of these if required. To add a new postcode to a suburb, we can click on the new rule button over the top here and enter a postcode. This will create a single postcode that's entered. We can also add a range of postcodes. So if we say 3010 to 3100, and click on the create, you'll see we've now added a range of postcodes. If you define your postcode zones by postcodes, this is the best way to do it. If you want to define your zones by suburbs, you can come in here and select individual suburbs from a drop down list by using the filters and then By clicking on the no and checking the box, you can add that to your current suburb. You can have combinations of postcodes and suburbs if required. The final way to edit or define a zone is to display it on a map. We can zoom in to an area and get as small as you want select your zone on the left hand side from the list, click on the polygon icon and then by clicking you can define your zone shape. That's how you manually create a zone list. If you want to import a set of zones via a spreadsheet then click on the new zone button and instead of manually defining the zones click on the import zones button. This will give you the option to drag and drop or upload a file. I've got a postcode range here. Once we want to import it we can ignore the first row if you know there are column headings in there and then we can map how we want to import each column. So zone name postcode range and postcode are the three columns we've got in this file. Once we've confirmed that the mapping is correct we click on the import button and the file will import. This may take a couple of minutes if you've got a large zone list but we can see now that all these zones have been imported and if we click on a zone on the left we can see that it's defined by some postcode ranges on the right.